been a lot of chatter about the price of eggs in the last few months, of course, with the skyrocketing price. But in Poolsville, that conversation has now widened to backyard chickens. And that is where we find Fox 5's David Kaplan live tonight with a new proposal and hopefully some chickens that are no longer camera shy. Hey, David. <laughs> I hope so, too. Hey, I bet you, if you're watching our newscast tonight, you didn't think to yourself, I wonder if I'll get a lesson on the history of being allowed to have chickens in your backyard in Montgomery County, but don't cry foul. I promise it's interesting. Okay, in Montgomery County, you're allowed to have chickens in your backyard. There's one exception, though, Poolsville. There was a neighborly dispute a couple decades ago that meant that there was a prohibition here specifically. That is, of course, until this week. If you joined us in our tees, these guys were a little bit shy. And as you can tell, as our camera gets close, they are going home. You can't script this stuff. It's live TV, though. Look, there's been a year-long effort to overturn this ban. It's been spearheaded by the woman whose backyard we're in, Elizabeth Carpenter. You'll hear from her in just a second. She says she went to board meetings, spoke about the benefits of having chickens. It's been part of her life for a while now. The town's commissioning uh, commissioner president tells me that this is something that's come up over the years, but Carpenter's diligence led to a reconsideration ultimately a four to one vote to allow chickens in backyards with certain restrictions. Carpenter, egg static. I feel humbled by it. I think what people realize is that, you know, in the privacy of your own backyard, if you are enjoying a hobby that doesn't hurt anyone and you should be allowed to do that. And honestly, most people do not want to keep chickens. It's a lot of work. It's expensive. You don't save money on eggs. You spend more money caring for your birds than you do in buying eggs. So I feel like it's, it's really a hobby of enjoyment. Yeah, and de definitely when you hear there's there's so many pros, and I think a lot of people, especially given the price of eggs, want to see this happen, especially with places like Poolsville where there's so much land there. But there are people, too, who are not as uh, on board with this. What is the board doing to try and alleviate some of those concerns? Well, there is certainly a lot. This was about a year-long process, as we said, to alleviate the concerns of people who may live nearby. Now, when she moved in here, Elizabeth Carpenter didn't know this prohibition existed, so this was built. This will not be allowed where it is right now. That's one of the rules. There's no roosters allowed, and you have to have it away from a property line and away from other neighbors as much as possible. So they're physically going to have to move the coop down to here to make sure that they are in line with all of that. You're also going to have to take a class. You're also going to have to get a permit with Poolsville, and they are going to know who these chicken coop owners actually are. So that sound mitigation is one thing that neighbors who are against this were really relatively concerned about. But the town commissioner tells me that about 10 out of every uh, 11 people, he said 10 were in favor, one was against generally in the town. So this is something that's been a topic of conversation for years and obviously will be to come as we may see more people with chicken coops in their backyards here in Poolsville. Yeah, it seems like Marina. they found compromise there in Poolsville. David Kaplan live for us tonight in Montgomery County.